Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yemi of Girl to Mom and this channel is all about inspiring every lady to own their lives, live up to their potentials and to be the best version of themselves. But today's video is going to be different. I'm not just going to be addressing young ladies alone. I'm going to be addressing every one of us because we are tired. We are tired. If you have been following up with what is happening in Nigeria, you would understand what I'm trying to say. We are just tired. I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet, but I know that from the title, you would already guess what I'm trying to talk about. Today, I want to address every one of us because I'm not going to be focusing so much on the issue that happened, which is rape. Okay. I'm not going to focus on the actual implications because we already know that rape is such a terrible act it's a terrible thing and if you are part of those people who are rape apologists because i've seen a lot of them on instagram and i'm just so upset and i'm sure some of you are even aware you know the way people reason you know the way our society is already when it comes to issues that concerns women that concerns ladies we are so quick to judge the girl especially with cases of rape we are always quick to judge the girl we are quick to judge whatever situation she was in and, and we ignore the people that actually took their time to force somebody force themselves on somebody i'm not going to be focusing on that okay i'm going to focus on the way forward because these things have been happening uwa is not the first girl that has been raped in uh, in nigeria as a matter of fact probably the, as, as i'm making this video another girl is being raped just this morning, I saw a video on Instagram and I saw an old man, a man that is old enough to father 20 boys. He was trying to put his hand in another lady in a moving vehicle. He was trying to put his hand underneath her gown to do what God knows what. So that's just to show you the way, the rate at which this thing is happening in our society. Now imagine if this woman slaps this old man. The first thing we will say is, oh, why, why, why is this woman doing this? You are so disrespectful. You da, 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 da. That's the first thing that comes to our mind. That, that will come to our mind. But then that's not the point. I want to point out that I want to address our men. I want to address our women. I want to address our ladies, and I want to also address the society. I initially did not plan to make this video to talk about this issue. This was not even what I planned. Like this video is just impromptu, and. I was discussing this thing with my husband and he asked me to even talk about this on my channel because I'm, I talk to ladies, I talk to women, but I was like, no, I don't want to talk about this on YouTube. I've been actively involved with this in this matter on Instagram. Then I was talking to my friend, a good friend of mine last night, and she also talk, told me that I should talk about this on my channel. So as I was thinking okay. about this issue last night, I remembered something that, something about my childhood. So when I was in primary school, there was this forum we had in my primary school, um, we called it Girl forum so our teacher organized this program for us because that were about to leave the primary school you know to secondary school so they organized this um, little forum for us to train us to talk to us about puberty about life beyond just being girls so they talked to us about the changes that will happen in our bodies you know the physical changes like menstruation how to put yourself together as a lady you know your posture close your legs while sitting you know just those things that they teach us obviously i didn't understand what they were saying but what i am trying to point out in this video is the fact that while we were having our girls forum our boys were having sports they were playing they were doing whatever they wanted to do we were there receiving training receiving some form of uh, formal training on how to be ladies but our boys were there playing. So it just, you know, it's something that is so obvious in our society. How we women, we ladies have been trained so much to be a better woman for people, for other people. Nobody has really trained or, or nobody's really talking to the woman or to the girl child on how to be her best self. It's always going to be centered around how to be a good wife, how to be the perfect mother, how to be this, how to be that for other people. And the men will leave them and now they have become rapists they have become men that they think they have so much power that they can subdue women we are now a subject of abuse emotional abuse financial abuse all forms of abuse rape just because these boys have been left alone to do whatever they want to do 
So we're going to be talking about this in this video. Now, first, I'm going to be addressing the men. You are part of the problem. We know you, 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 you people are old now. You are, you are matured now. You have your mind, you, your mindset formed already. But please, be actively involved in raising these boys that you have now. Be actively involved. Don't leave the training to the women alone. You can also raise these children. I know that the, the men of nowadays are beginning to, you know, get involved. But what you people do is just, you know, spend quality time with your children. You don't actually take that time to raise these children properly, to inculcate the right morals into these children, especially the boys, because we have left them for so long to do the things they want to do. This is then for you as a father to raise your children my father raised me he raised me to be the woman i am he raised me to to be my best self so you as a man you have a say you have you have a lot of work to do you were created to take charge not just to 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 claim that you have power but to take charge to protect your children and by protecting them it means that you are raising them to protect other people, to protect other children, to protect women, to protect men as well. But because of the way our society is, the emphasis is now on protecting women. So please get involved. Don't leave the training to the women alone. As a man, raise them to be perfect gentlemen. Don't raise them and tell them that you are a man, you shouldn't cry. You are a man, you shouldn't show emotions. No, raise them to know that it's okay to be anything they want to be, but then they have a responsibility to protect women. They have a responsibility to protect their wives, their friends. Please be actively involved in raising your boys. Now to our women, we have to stop. I know we are also victims of our society. They have told us that you need a male child to have a say in your husband's house. They have told us that you need a male child for you to, you know, to prove that you have arrived, you have actually done something. But please, let's forget that that's just nonsense please let's begin to raise our boys let's begin to raise them in a way that they should know they should understand that they are responsible people they should be responsible for the well-being of every woman it's time to train our boys to actually take charge it's trying to begin to train your boys to also be virgins yes it's not only the women that need to keep their virginity to the to, to when they get married. Your boys too, they need to, to keep their legs in one place. Let's begin to, let's make it part of our culture. So mothers, let's begin to raise our boys differently. Thank God that I have two boys. Oh, initially, when I was pregnant with, you know, when I was pregnant with my, my second son, I was praying for a girl because I wanted to raise, I wanted to raise one of a kind kind of girl. Although, yes, I also wanted to make her hair, but then I wanted to raise a girl that, every 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 boy will want to get married to like every boy will be happy to get married to her like she'll be a treasure so now that i have boys i know that this is god's way of telling me that i need to raise men you know better men in a, for our society so mothers please forget the mindset forget the fact that this is your only boy no let's raise now to our young ladies please stop indulging these boys it is not your fault when you are raped. If you notice that this boy is not matured, if you notice that from his speech, from his mindset, from his actions, he's somebody that's, oh, I don't like how this feminism thing, this women, if they begin to talk like that, please don't date them. Don't get married to them. Let them go and mature. Let them go and get themselves together. Don't indulge them. When you see a boy always quick to say, ah, oh, look at what she's wearing now. Look at what she's wearing. That kind of boy, please defriend him if it's your friend. Defriend, like the move away from that kind of boy. Let's stop indulging them. Okay? Now, for the society at large, for our government, those who are in charge of our curriculums, please let's start to, you know, let's start to raise this student with the to right have girls mindset. forum, to have boys forum. Okay? To have boys forum as a society collectively let's begin to raise this but because somehow boys tend to listen to their teacher or children tend to listen to their children and if we catch them young put the right morals in them from that young age it's just going to make a difference it's going to make a whole lot of difference as a matter of fact so please those who are in charge of the curriculum those who are in charge of planning whatever it is if you are a teacher if you have if you are in a position of authority to raise children maybe in your church in your mosque wh wherever you have the opportunity to raise children please let's include girls forum boys forum where we prepare them to be women independent women women that will you know show up for themselves 
not just for other people and also raise the men to make sure that you know to raise them to understand that they should be gentlemen for the society that is all i have to say for this video because i don't want to get angry and say <laughs> other things in fact that's just oh, let's just end it here that is all i want to talk about in this video so if you are new here if this is your my first video that you are watching please don't be offended the way this video is just all over the place so okay, you can check out my other videos, videos my previous videos and make videos that empower women to be their best self because they have trained us enough to be our best self for other people it's time for us to take charge of our life and be better for ourselves okay so that is the kind of videos i make on this channel so please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here subscribe like this video leave me a comment what is your opinion what is the way forward what do you think we should do as people as individuals to stop this attitude to stop this behavior of abusing women okay so leave your comment. Let me know your opinion. If you're a man watching this, leave your opinion. If you're a woman, if you're a girl, and just leave your opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.